Bradford unbeaten in six, travel to Walsall. The Saddlers haven't beaten the Bantams since 2003. So an away win? Well, football's not played on paper, is it? Walsall will fancy themselves on their own patch. Here's Kyle Reid. Comes back his left peg. Now did O'Donnell, the keeper, get a touch to that? Don't think he did. Spotted the gap at the near post. Just found the side netting. 2-2 was the result when these two sides last met on this ground seven and a half years ago. We're yet to see our first goal. Also trying to provide it here. Whoa. McLaughlin turned that one away. Phantom it was with the crack. McLaughlin got just enough to turn it behind. Reed. It's difficult to defend against, isn't he? Also not quite getting that away. Thompson. Always covered by O'Donnell, you'd think. Reed. Eating up the yards. Reed. Goes for a shot. Oh, that's fantastic. Kyle Reed. From all the 30 yards on the stroke of half time, it flew into the back of the net. It's been helped on into the path of James Hansen. 2 0 Bradford. Couple of minutes after the restart, James Hansen has doubled last season's Capital One Cup finalist lead. So, Walsall's wait for a win over Bradford might stretch into an 11th year at this rate. Trying to do something about that here. Ross is played into Hewitt, almost. Troy Hewitt almost got something on that. Both sides have made a decent start to the season. It's all trailing here, but that's a really good ball across. And somehow the chance was miscued inside the penalty area. A cross goal. Just after the hour mark, Walsall making three changes in quick succession to try and spark some new life into their side. It's over towards Hemmings. He's one of the changes. And he caught that volley almost too well because it shot across the face of goal. What can Walsall conjure up? Time is running out for them. It's pretty passing, but it's not getting them too far at the moment. So why not have a shot for distance? Why not indeed? It's... Uh, into the Bradford fans behind the goal, though, from Hemmings. Still trying to put pressure on Walsall. Still trying to grab a goal back. McLaughlin down to push that one behind to the applause from his fans behind the goal. The noise comes from the Bradford City fans, and why not? Because they've won by two goals to nil. Goals either side of the break from Reed and Hanson securing the points. Walsall nil, Bradford two.